All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This one is going to be relatively short, but I'm trying to make a point about trying to find things uh, in both Llama Index and Langchain documentation that I think, you know, are, I don't see being talked about a lot. Maybe it's because they're not as important, but I think it is still important to just kind of cover things um, that are in the documentation because I think, you know, it's important to know what they do and how we can use these. So, um, today we are going to be covering simple uh, transformation chain in Langchain, and this will be utilizing the simple sequential chain. So those are for when you want to do multiple operations, uh, you can run, you can make chains inside of, and put them inside of an array inside of the simple sequential chain, and they will just run sequentially. Um, so. This in tandem with the transform function is going to help us summarize something that we are first transforming. So uh, in my example, uh, it is just, this is very simple. Uh, we are using a polygram essay, uh, Alien Truth. Now this essay is going to be loaded into this Alien Truth uh, variable and then we are going to make our transform function oh sorry this does not need to be there we're going to make our transform function uh which is going to shorten the text so let's say like you have some super long document this is not super long but let's say you just kind of wanted to get the at a glance uh summary so maybe trying to save uh save money on tokens um and you don't really need any information in the later half of the large piece of text uh, that you are analyzing, uh, this, this transform function would be useful for that. Now, the way it works is the transform chain is going to take uh, two vari or three variables. Uh, we have input variables, text, and then we have the output variable, output text, and the transform function, which we pass in, which is up here. Next, we want to make our prompt template. So the first thing we do is we are going to create the template and say, summarize the text. And we're putting this output text as a variable that we will be passing into the prompt template right here. So with prompt templates, uh, these are just kind of a way for us to format them and be able to dynamically change variables, add variables, etc. Just kind of make it a more seamless process. Um, and here we're putting in output text as the input variables. And then we also put in the template, which is right here. And this is how we get our prompt. Next, we are going to instantiate an LLM chain uh, and pass the prompt into it. And now we have a regular uh, just kind of your generic summarization chain. And we have a transformation chain. So what's going to happen here is when we create a sequential chain, like I said before, we are passing in both the transformation chain and the LLM summarization chain. And the order does matter, so it is going to execute the transformation first. And then it will uh, go to do the summary with the transformed an altered text. Now, before I run that, I will also just show you something without a transform. So let's say we're just summarizing alien truth. And you can see I have already done it here um, in, in my terminal, but just to show you again, let me clear. And I will pull this up so everyone can see. Okay. This text discusses the concept of alien truth, which is the idea that there are certain truths that would be shared by any form of intelligent life. Besides the truth of mathematics, physics, the author argues that this search of, for alien truths would should be part of philosophy and presents some examples of things that may consider yada yada. Awesome. Now, if we go to use our transform, function, which is going to have our transformation chain inside of it first. Um, just to recap and refresh, we're shortening the text in this function. So ideally, the 
I feel like the summarization will be shorter than the one we see here and also may not include some of the information that is added um, in the end of this. So if we run it now, again, we are using the transform function now. So it will be calling this function up here with the transformation chain. This text discusses potential truths. Let me just pull it up higher. This text discusses potential truths that could be shared between humans and intelligent extraterrestrial beings, such as the truths of mathematics and physics. It suggests that the tr that there may be truths beyond these that could be shared as well. So you can see the summary is also, again, this is not a very uh, long essay. I just did this for the sake of saving tokens and saving time, but you can see that it's a little bit lower resolution of a summary, but honestly, for all intents and purposes, it's very good for if you're just kind of browsing and you wanted something to like give you a sense of what it could be uh, about. Um, so yeah, I think uh, takeaway from here is, again, uh, Langchain is very useful for, like one of its great use cases is using sequential chains. I know, uh, you know, agents are all the rage these days, but I do believe, you know, uh, uh, simple sequential chains can help you kind of uh, develop a more, uh, I guess it'll be a more brittle pipeline. Like it's not going to be as free flowing maybe as like an agent that can decide which tool to use. Um, but if this is for something that you really want to standardize, uh, you can kind of create your own cool little LLM pipeline to perform several operations over the same piece of data and pass it all into simple sequential chain. Um, and yeah, that is the video for today. I will be probably uploading, uh, more videos next week. I want to try to start doing, uh, twice a week instead of just once a week. Um, yeah, I appreciate all the comments. Uh, so subscribe, like the video, uh, join the Friday lunch discord. We've got some people joining and, um, yeah, I would love to see you in there. If you want to, you know, build with us, uh, we're not focused on, Lang chain or Llama index uh, in particular. I think that's just what people have joined for so far. But uh, Friday Lunch is really just about building a community of people that are interested in building, uh, particularly with AI tools. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, there is uh, no outro. So uh, goodbye.